Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, a tour. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage, perhaps a double, stand by. All right, fishy folks, here in South Jersey, it is 99 degrees outside and about 107% humidity, which is jacking up my hair. I was gonna do a Mutt Guppy Pond update, but it's just too damn hot outside. So, you get a tour of inside instead. Now, you know what I like to do when it's hot out? Drink some ice cold water. From my coldest water cup, I love this. They are a sponsor of the channel, as you know. Check out the link down below where you can buy lots of stuff, make me some shekels. Also, there is a link to a contest and a discount code. <sighs> Love it. All right, folks, the tour. I had many, many boxes today, so there are a lot of empty tanks. I've sold out a lot of stuff and just have a few stragglers left of a few strains. So here we go. Well, all right, fishy folks, let's do it. Uh, we got some filters to clean, buckets, workbench. We got the live baby brine going. I've been feeling that for about the last two weeks. Uh, every day, they love it. Fish are doing well. Workbench is pretty clean. You can see I'm getting ready to take some pictures for the website. Uh, just some, some stuff there. Let's start over here with my boy, Taco. You may remember his tank was a little bit yellow from uh, the Furan 2 I was using. Oh, do 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 uh, but he's all healed. You can see his eye is all clear now. Uh, he had a little bit of an eye infection. Uh, I think he had some dropsy from some poor water quality, but don't really know for sure. So I fixed that. Uh, and then of course, did a massive water change today. He did destroy Kathy. He broke the arms off. Um, yeah, so I just let him be, let him play. Let him play because he's such a good boy. Uh, over here. We have some albino red mosaics in that tank. Uh, I did have a pair of calico um, bristle nose in there and I've taken them out and moved them to another tank. So it's just a couple of albino red mosaics. There were some test fish from my new supplier. Uh, the quality was decent, but they weren't they weren't that healthy. They, they stayed in the bag too long, I think. So we lost a couple in quarantine. There's There are more in there just behind there. Uh, over here we have the uh, snakeskin blue tails doing spectacular and the yellow snakeskins also doing spectacular and long fin super red plecos. We do have a few left in Michael's fish room. Down here we have albino red uh, big ears. Uh, also these were tests from my supplier doing well. Just haven't gotten them up on the website because my camera from Canon is still being fixed. We'll talk about that later. Let's, let's go low first. Here we have the albino blue topaz also doing okay in quarantine and about a gajillion baby albino bristlenose plecos. They are so cute. Love baby bristlenose. Uh, over here we have the albino red pandas. I was like, I cleaned these tanks. I did. I cleaned the tanks. Well, the front glass for you guys. Uh, just not the inside glass because that would be too much work. These are albino red pandas. Um... I, I think these are going to be huge sellers. Look how big the females are. Great quality in the males. Very cute. Um, but I don't have a camera. I mean, I have my phone, but it doesn't take as good pictures for the website as my Canon uh, 90D. So also underneath that, that driftwood are some uh, L01 Plecos. Let's see if I can show you. There they are. Just chilling. Just another pleco to uh, raise and breed in the fish room. Where is a little chilly? Over here we have the albino gold yellow ribbons. Just a few left. Uh, down here we have some bluegrass grow outs. I don't really know what's there. I haven't paid much attention. Over here we have the Dumbo Platinum Mosaic grow outs. Also just babies. And of course here we have the Jari Lazuli guppies. Uh, unfortunately... That one looks like it's got a bent back. I'm gonna have to get that one to Taco or to Hank. Unfortunately, again, I can't get them on the website because I can't take good enough pictures. And there's a lot of, a lot of algae on the glass. And you know what? I don't care. It's good for the fish. Here we have the rainbow dragon mosaics. Also, these should go up on the website soon. I've said that for weeks now, but my camera's been in the shop. 
Also, we got a jacked up one here too. We're gonna have to fix him. Over here, we have violet cobras growing out. Nothing special just yet. I mean, they do look nice when they're grown out, but they're just babies. Here we have full golds getting ready to go back on the website. We built the colony up a little bit. And then of course, some mutts in this tank. There's actually not even a filter in this tank because I tried to catch all the mutts and I missed some. And you can see there's, I don't know, four or five left. I didn't try too hard. Albino full reds, again, not on the website. If you're interested in these, just, just email me. Um, I had a customer email me and I just sent her a, a PayPal invoice and added them to her order. So I could easily do that if you're interested in these and they're not on the website because I don't have a good enough camera. Japanese blue boot tails. These are the ones that are left um, from my, I don't know, from a while ago, but uh, doing great, no problems here. And this is the uh, red grass breeding for profit tank that I haven't really checked on in quite a while. So I don't even know if there's anything in there or not. That's the sump pump. Over here, we have the calico bristle nose tank. You can see a ton of calico bristle nose babies. And over here we have super red grow outs. And over here we have brown grow outs. Look how many there are. They're so adorable. If you need a Pleco, this is the one to get. I mean, five bucks, you can't go wrong. Hardy does a decent job of cleaning stuff up. That's the other sump pump over there. You hear it screaming? The float's stuck, I think. So here's what you do, folks. When you have a stuck float, you come over to it and you bang it. Watch this, I'm like Fonzie. Hey! You guys might not even be old enough to know who Fonzie is. Uh, while we're here, we'll go up top. Longfin Lemon Blue Eye. Look at them, they're so cute. One of my favorite plecos. This was the half black white tank. Unfortunately, we sold out. There's one baby in here left. You can see him right there. Uh, long fin albino. Of course, the thousand babies I have all have short fins, so thanks, Mother Nature. But uh, growing out, doing nice. Look, there's a long fin male upside down in the cave. Looks like a bat. And all his babies are, are short fins. Thanks, buddy. Here we have the long fin super reds. Also I had some babies in here and they all were short fin. Thanks again, mother nature and the Hawaiian blue guppies. Uh, growing these out, we'll see how they breed and, and we'll go from there. Oh, if you, you might remember there were um, tuxedo koi in here, sold out. This was my breeding tank, sold out. There's just a few babies, mostly girls in here. Uh, I had a customer who ordered them and I didn't ship his guppies last week. I didn't ship any guppies last week because of the heat. Uh, and then this week I was out of them. I felt really bad. I gave him a refund. That's what he wanted. That's what happens. I, I can't, I'm human. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Here we have the super uh, red pleco grow and green lace guppy tank homegrown here in Michael's fish room. Very nice guppy. Very nice guppy. Over here are the uh, L32 Plecos, which they like to hide. This batch was really, really shy. Uh, you can see one in the back. Sorry, I just hit the camera. Wait, right there, you see the tail. Um, and you can see some fry, their albino Dumbo fry. Uh, uh, there's a few left in here. I'm shocked that they survived, but I feed them. Hopefully it'll grow big. Over here we have the lemon blue eye pleco tank. Lots of lovely fish in there. And down here we have the uh, mutt guppy, the massive 90 gallon mutt guppy tank with about 10 guppies in it because I've been selling the bejesus out of mutt guppies. I may have to go to the outside tub next week uh, depending on how many I sell. All right, moving along over here in the middle row. We'll start down here, albino red lace and super red plecos. Doing fantastic, great looking guppy, if you like albinos. The red the red metal lace guppies, standard, not albino, and there are some grow out albino uh, plecos in here as well. You can see them all along the wall. These guys, super hardy, and uh, I love the big tail with the pattern. These are the red dragon half moons, um, doing okay. These are the survivors. Uh, I've cured whatever they have, and they're, they're just growing out, and Next week, they'll go back on sale, these guys. Over here, we have the Japanese blue guppies, also homegrown in Michael's fish room. Had these in the fish room for years. Um, 
I probably will be getting rid of this line soon. It's just not a big seller and I could use a tank space for something that is. Dumbo Red Tails, one of my favorites. Look at that, look at the Dumbo ears on that thing. It'd be nice if this would focus. How about, how about we focus? Oh, 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 come on phone. You, you get the picture. Uh, also, there's a new pair of calico, long thin calico bristle nose I got from my good friend, Karen, who is not a Karen. And um, already they, they're, they're in the cave, you know, doing it, so. Here we have just a, a pleco, a plethora of plecos. Say that three times fast. There's albino and brown. There's a couple different patterns in the brown. Some of them have the white stripe on the tail. Some of them just have spots. Some of them are pretty solid like that one. Um, love the differences in the regular bristlenose plecos. I love the white tail too, the line on the white tail like that one. And then of course there are some red cobra fry in here as well and a poop ton of snails. Uh, this is sort of a mishmash of plecos. There's a calico, there's a bigger L001 in here. Or sorry, yeah, L001, I think. Uh, there might be a albino there. I think there's one more hiding, but uh, no guppies in here. Just grow out plecos, I guess. So, Green Moscow grow outs. Uh, I got a pair or a trio of these a few months ago, and we're just growing out the babies. See how they go. This is another plethora of pleco tanks. Uh, you can see all the babies. There's a, a red, super red female. There's a calico male. There's an albino female. I think an albino male, a brown male. I mean, there's just, there's a ton of different, oh, look at that long fin right there. Oh, that is nice. Uh, but you know, plecos, when you have a big storm, and we've been having big storms around here every week, that drop in barometric pressure makes them do it and they get babies. So yeah, that's why I have so many pleco babies. Not complaining. This was the albino cobra red tail tank, but I sold them all. Again, somebody wanted them, emailed me and said, when are they gonna go on the website? And I just sold them to them, cause that's what I do. Uh, so yeah, I gotta take this off. Take the, I'll do it later. There's my boy Hank, just chilling. Hank doesn't get the credit he wants. Oh, the other day I was, I was in the fish room and I had my hand up here like this and he jumped to bite it and I almost threw him out of the tank. But he was just being Hank. Hank, Hank, Hank. We already talked about Taco, him and his ginormous cock. Look at him, look at him. Urgh, urgh. Oh, look at those lips. Albino full whites. Uh, yeah, nothing special. I mean, they're albino full whites. I, when I say nothing special, I mean they're just albino full whites. Nothing wrong with them. These were the red dragon fry that I had. I don't know, there's four or five of them in here. Just growing them out. I don't need the tank yet, so yeah. Blue pandas, you could say I got cheap and uh, I had blue dragons in here and I changed them to blue panda. But uh, these guys are doing well, nice guppy. I had a customer that I sent these to on Thursday last week to New York City. And Thursday night there were ginormous storms. It was like Noah's Ark rain. And uh, the guppies came and she said within an hour they perked up and came to the top for food and or super cute so nice guppies did well in the mail in the mail but yeah like postal mail not boy girl mail i don't know what i'm thinking here we got the real red eye albinos one of my favorite guppies in the fish room because i love the big red tails and the whole red body the females even look pretty nice with the red uh dorsal and red tail uh we sold quite a few this week which is nice uh for me not for you if you want them if you want them get them quick here are the other tank of red dragons I have sold out uh, of these guys. So they're they're not on the website right now. They're they're on back order until the other ones go through quarantine. And there is one pair, but if I have you know one male and three females, I might as well try to breed them in this tank. So I got to get some some floating plants and perhaps some more hides and stuff. Uh, another good one in the fish room, black metal lace. Love these guys doing well. Uh, if you have a lot of plants, this guppy is for you. It will really pop against the green of your foliage, if you know what I'm saying. And then finally, the golden tux. These should go up on the website today. I'm gonna try to take pictures with my phone because my camera's not back yet. Those were the guppies you saw uh, right here in the, the Jex thing, the glass beta tank that I got from Japan. So, uh, you know what? 
I put, looks like I put two males in here, not a male and a female. That's dumb. Anyway, I'm dumb. You saw my reflection. Uh, what else? That's it. Don't need the insulation. Oh, I got this mat for the fridge room so I could stand on it and not get, you know, my feet hurt. And it's great for that, but it does attract dirt and stuff. So a little bit of pain in the butt to clean, which is why I haven't cleaned it. I mean, overall, the floor looks good. The fish room is being kept neat, pretty much. Uh, I did clean some filters this morning before work. That's what that is. I'll probably clean some more later. That does it for the fish room tour. Hope you guys liked it. Um, any comments or questions, please, please, please go through my my website and email me. Look at that guy. And uh, don't forget to check out my sponsor, The Coldest Water, and my website, michaelsfishroom.com. Uh, the other companies I support, supercichlids.com, KGE Aquatics, AquariumCoop.com. Oh, let's just get this out of the way, folks. If, if you want to comment one of my reviews that it's not a review because I'm a brand ambassador, then you don't really know me. Because it doesn't matter if I'm a brand ambassador. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. So those of you that have the fake, fake uh, YouTube accounts that you just started to write a stupid comment... Bring it, because it's all interaction for me, and I like it, and it helps the algorithm, so keep going. All right, folks, that does it. I'm going to leave you with this gorgeous picture of my boy Taco, who wants to eat my finger. Look at him. He just wants to eat it. He just wants to eat it. Well, all right, fish your root. <laughs> nice.